Hello folks, I did a video a while back, um, it's called Do You Use a Ron Ranson Hate Brush? I was just curious um, how many people following the tutorials were actually using the same um, equipment and brushes that, that I was using. Um, um, turns out most, most of them were, unsurprisingly, using the same Ron Ranson Hate Brush that I, that I used. But I had an interesting comment from um, 7000 Bass or bass, I think he's a musician or a fisherman, um, and, and they write, for fast and loose, the Pro Art Run Ranson is the best without a doubt. Um, I personally use the large, but he says that the, the, the small and medium are still good for washes in more detailed styles. Um, I only really paint sort of 15 by 11, I have tried the smaller format, but um, just always struggled using the smaller brushes really. I've always yearned for the bigger brush. Um, they continue, I've just been watching Lois Davidson who uses lots of different brushes. There are also these huge Chinese bamboo brushes for washes. Um, apparently you can get them cheap from eBay. I think I know the ones, I have seen them, they're like really massive wide things for, for big washes. Um, I'd imagine they cover the, the surface of the paper very, very quickly. Um, uh, like good old John Men Joe Menza, she sometimes calls them Harkey. Now, to be fair, that is, I have, I think that is the correct pronunciation of these hate, hate brushes. They're actually called Harkey. They originate from Japan. I think the one, the, the Ron Ransom ones, I used. Um, he's, he's sort of based, they're sort of adapted from the the original Japanese brushes, and Harkey, I think, is how they are pronounced over there. Um, Frank Clark has good quality brushes for the looser style. Dave Usher uses them sometimes. For me as you and the likes of Joe, Dave etc demonstrations, the, uh, the run rounds and hate can do big washes. They're also delicate finishing with water control in the experienced hand. The little I've seen with Ron in his later years, he had a very delicate touch. And the other big bonus is no metal or lacquered parts, they're quite hardy. Um, yeah, so many thanks 7000 for your for your comments. I'm not used to the, the, the big run round to night brush now. I, don't, I can't ever see me using any, any other sort of brush. They are a bit awkward. Um, and when I, when I started, I found them a bit of a nightmare really. It's just that there's so much water. Um, I used to fight every time I bought a new brush. I don't, because because I used to um, use them quite probably a lot longer after they'd worn, so the hairs tended to get shorter and shorter, and I've consequently got used to the less amount of water it held. Every time I bought a new brush with the longer hairs, suddenly all the the water was back there again. These days, with a bit more experience, um, it gets more easy to control with practice. Um, I've always got my tea towel in my other hand to wipe on the, wipe the, the, the excess off. But it's a, it's a cracking tool and well worth the investment um, in your time to to learn to use it use it properly. So um, thanks for watching. As always, if you've got any comments, queries, questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you again soon.